Hey guys, it's Maria K, aka No Guilt Girl, and I'm here to show you another No Guilt recipe, but this is a special recipe because I developed it for Philly Bite Magazine to show you guys in Philadelphia and anywhere where you can see this that you can be satiated and stay fit during the holidays with some delicious, well-made recipes. So let's get started. All right, so the first recipe that I'm gonna show you guys today is using Brussels sprouts. Yes. Oh, gasp, no go, girl. You're making us eat Brussels sprouts? Well, guys, these Brussels sprouts happen to be amazing. They're not your mama's Brussels sprouts, okay? These are roasted, they get caramelized, and they have a nice crunch on the outer leaves, and they lose the bitterness with the caramelization. I'm going to teach you guys how to cook Brussels sprouts like a pro using a pan, which is heating up behind me because you want it to be super hot. But before we put these in the pan, we're going to give these guys some flavor. We're going to give them a little uh, toss of salt here. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it as far as these go. Um, I'm also gonna give them a little drizzle of olive oil because um, the olive oil just imparts a really nice flavor. Give these a little toss. All right, easy peasy, let's take them over to the pan. All right guys, so here we have the hot pan um, and that is very important, I'm gonna emphasize again, if you want the nice caramelization on the Brussels sprouts, the pan has to be hot, hot, hot when you put them on or else they're just going to get soggy because they're going to overcook. These cook them hot and fast, get them nice and crispy before they have a chance to overcook in the middle. So no soggy vegetables here, guys, not in this kitchen. So in this pan, I'm using a avocado oil. Um, this is a neutral flavor. Um, avocado oil has a high smoke point. Olive oil will burn really fast and it'll just taste like rancid oil. So we're gonna add these guys. Can you hear that sizzle? We're gonna shake them around. Um, I recommend flipping them to the flat side so they get a lot of surface area with the pan. So if some of them end up on their backs, just give them a little flip over. Be careful for the hot oil hitting you. I just use my fingers because it's easier to grasp the Brussels sprouts and flip them over. All right, so we have them in the pan, they're cooking. And you know what guys, the best way to let food brown is to just leave it alone. Don't be constantly shaking the pan or checking underneath. Leave the Brussels sprouts go, they're not burning. Once the pan is hot and you have them on and you hear them sizzling, you can turn on the heat to more of like a medium high instead of a high high, um, just to let them slowly get brown and golden so you get that really good crunch, that really good flavor of the caramelization of these vegetables. So. We'll see what this looks like in a few minutes. All right guys, so these have been frying on one side for about between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, this is the kind of recipe that you're gonna have to keep an eye on. It's on an open flame. Um, it can go from golden brown to burnt really fast. And so this is around the color that you're looking for. Um, it, at this color, it's very toasty flavored. It gets a little crunchy. Um, and it almost has a fried taste, but I only used about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of avocado oil in here. I just spread it around on the pan and kept a really steady heat. Um, but it has a very crispy texture, so it tastes like a fried Brussels sprout, which is amazing because it doesn't have any of the fat. You're getting a little bit of fat from the avocado oil, but it's good fat, so that's, ooh, crunchy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish these guys up in the oven because um, it's gonna be a little difficult to cook the back of the Brussels sprout in the pan because it's round and it doesn't have a lot of surface area. So I'm just gonna stick these guys in a 350 degree oven and I'll see you back in about 10 minutes. Okay, so the Brussels sprouts are still cooking in the oven for about five more minutes. So in the meanwhile, why not make the vinaigrette for the little salad that we put together using the Brussels sprouts? So I didn't have exact measurements because this is a really easy going kind of recipe and everybody has their own preference of their oil to vinegar ratio so I'm just going to put about I like less oil and more vinegar so I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil in there I'm going to put about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar because I love balsamic vinegar I love that tang um, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of honey here maybe half Honey's pretty sweet. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. 
and I'm just going to give it a whisk until it's homogenous. Alright, so as you can see, it's just a balsamic vinaigrette. Um, if you like more of an olive oil base and a less tang, then um, you can do the reverse and use a tablespoon of vinegar and then use two tablespoons of olive oil. It's really all your preference. All right, so these babies are definitely ready to come out. They've been in the oven for about 12 minutes. Anywhere between 10 and 15, again, is kind of the magic number. It just depends on how much you want your vegetables cooked. So be sure to check them after 10 minutes just to see how they're doing. All right, so I'm going to take these out. I'm going to give them a little toss around here. Okay? And I'm going to add these right into the dressing, okay? Um, into the dressing, I am going to add diced apples, because apples and Brussels sprouts are surprisingly a killer combo. So now, I'm going to take some tongs and a slotted spoon. I don't want that slotted spoon, we want the slotted spoon. And I'm going to give her a little toss around. And I'll be back in a minute to plate that up for you guys. All right, so our Brussels sprouts have been marinating with the apples in the balsamic vinaigrette that we made. Um, here is what they look like. Now, you're not going to need all of this vinaigrette. Um, you don't want it. It's a little bit too much um, unless you're going to make a larger amount of Brussels sprouts than I did. Um, that's why I'm using a slotted spoon because it's just going to get the dressing that's sticking to the vegetable and nothing excess. But hey, if you like your salad super saturated in dressing, if you love that, then you know what? It's just a kind of a whatever kind of recipe. It's whatever you want. I'm just here for the inspiration. So here we're going to plate it up. Okay. Make sure we get any excess liquid with a slotted spoon. Just kind of put it in there. to get every single little piece of apple there all the good stuff all right now optionally we have some finishing touches we can put on this um, I chose to put this really good aged Vermont cheddar just a sprinkle on top which goes amazing with apples by the way just in case you guys are wondering why I went with cheddar um, and then I'm going to sprinkle some almonds on here And there you have a nice fall salad. Healthy, perfect for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or just to eat for a really fiber-filled snack. It's just really, really good. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to dig in here. Mm. Make these today. Do yourself a favor. See you guys next time.